Hello, Cancer. This is your X reading for January 31st through February 6th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Let's see what's going on for you guys currently here. Page of Pentacles. I think a lot of you guys are just concentrating on um, work. I feel like you are more focused right now on, like, you know, the more mundane aspects in your life, not so much on love. Um, I think, you know, whatever you're doing is kind of, <laughs> you're trying to take your focus off of love. It's not really what you want to deal with right now is what I'm getting, okay? Let's see what your current situation is, their current situation is here. Ace of Cups. I feel like this person is trying to get their confidence, um, build their confidence up. I feel like they are trying to develop their spirituality, love themselves. Um, some of them may have started dating, but I'm thinking this is more about them, you know, focusing on themselves at this point, as you guys are. But I think there's a lot that this person has been lacking, like, emotionally. So it, they're trying to build upon that, whereas you guys are focused on other things, you know. Maybe your confidence is already, you know, where it should be, okay? Let's see how you, you are perceiving your ex here. Hmm. I, I think you guys... Um, there's something about this person that has awakened something in you. Um, I think you feel they are aware of maybe their their past issues. Maybe they're working on themselves here, um, trying to build their confidence. I think you see them exactly for you know who they are right now. They're they're trying to get themselves together. They're trying to look inside for their happiness and not expect someone else to make them happy here okay is how you're viewing them i do think this person makes you happy i think maybe some of their behaviors in the past um has not made you happy okay could be a leo that you're dealing with um scorpio energy let's see what your ex's perception of you is seven of pentacles they perceive you as like, you know, you're waiting to see a change in them. You're waiting to see if if they have improved themselves, their life, um, you know, how they behave. It's like you're just waiting and you're hoping to see a change in them. And I think that you guys, you know, you want them to work on themselves. You want them to like build themselves up and not look to you to do that. And so you're waiting to see that they have, um, that they're doing the work. They see you as waiting. They see you as putting, having put your time into this situation and that you're kind of just taking your hands off of it to see um, what they are doing, what progress they have made, okay? Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here. Cancer's feelings about getting back together. Hmm. I think that you guys, um, right now the way it is, I think that you love this person and I think you want to see them do better, but I feel like you guys um, are wanting communication from this person. Uh, you may have spoken, you know, what your issues were to them and why you guys are not together right now, but I think you would like to have that communication to kind of um to back up what what you feel like is going on okay you want them to tell you certain things about what's going on in their life the progression that they've made okay and i think you definitely would be willing but i also feel like you guys are prepared to actually move on from this person if you need to Okay, let's see what their feelings are about getting back together here. What are their feelings about getting back together? 
Hmm. I think there's some confusion around there's some confusion and betrayal around why you left um, they feel like it's over they feel like it's it's they feel stabbed in the back here maybe they feel like you guys left them when they were already down and out and they think about it a lot but they're trying to move past it but right now they feel like it's, it's done and over with okay then maybe there's no coming back from it um, maybe they need to you know have some communication with you guys maybe they're expecting communication from you even okay but they feel like right now they feel like it's it's over with that that you guys have moved on that maybe you're talking with other people you're dating other people communicating with other people okay let's see how you guys can help this connection let's see I think this is for you guys to be open um, and honest. There's a lot of mystery regarding you guys. And I feel like there's there's some things that need to be cleared up. And I do feel that you guys need to use your intuition on how you truly feel about this person. And maybe you know you have received some some answers in a dream, or um, just something you feel deep down inside. Maybe there has been some communication between the two of you in dreams, and you guys just thought maybe I'm just dreaming about this person, but actually, you know, sometimes there are hidden messages in the dreams. So pay attention to your dreams, okay? But this is you guys using using your intuition, using your heart to make this decision on whether or not you need to communicate with this person about some issues um, that they may have in you as well, okay? To be open and honest about it. Um, this is this is to talk because the high priestess does not talk. I feel like there definitely needs to be communication um, if you are wanting to, you know, bring this this reconciliation. Rec I can't even freaking talk. If you want to bring this relationship back together, if that's something that you're interested in, okay. Let's see how can they increase the chances of you guys getting back together here. How can they increase the chances? I think this person needs the confidence. And I think they need to be um, a little more active in this connection and not expect for you to make things right, not to do everything for them. I think they need to start um, showing you who, what they can do for you, what they can contribute to this relationship. Um, I think that their confidence is, is, is kind of low right now. I think they're in a low spot, this person. And um, they, they've probably, they're probably like withdrawing. So I feel like they need to come out of their shell. They need to be more active. They need to um, initiate more. So it's like there's this conflict here. Maybe they're the ones that need to um, actually come to you. Maybe they need to embody more of their feminine energy show you that you know they appreciate what you've done but you know now let me do something for you that type of thing they need to be the ones to like you know contact you open up and then when once they do then you can help by opening up and talking and discussing these issues as well okay so let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys potential outcome for cancer and their ex, the potential outcome. The six of wands, success, victory, that's the potential outcome. If you guys do the work, 
if you're willing to contribute, compromise, talk about um, the issues of betrayal that I'm sure that you both share. You know, both of you feel um, some kind of way, I'm sure. But there is victory here for you guys um, if the work is done, if the work is put in. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancers. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Oh, we have Leo. We have Pisces, Sagittarius, um, Taurus Energy. We have Gemini, Scorpio, um, and maybe Sagittarius, I mean, uh, Aries as well, okay? So I will speak with you guys soon.